humans have this idea that we should just be able to take their stuff whenever we want. And I think that's a very old fashioned idea and that that shouldn't be what we expect. In fact, I'm not sure that's even old fashioned. It's almost like it's somewhere between new and old fashioned. I don't think that's the way it was like in my grandfather. I don't remember him ever messing with his dog's food at all. And I was with him when he fed several different dogs dozens of times. And he always just told me to stay away from their food. So I think that's a very reasonable solution. Let the dog eat, leave him alone. But if you've got kids that are running around or you really want to, you know, really work extra on it, then what I do is, is I just take their dish, whether it's a puzzle dish or regular dish, and I show them the food and I put it in it. And while they're working on it, I put in some more. So it's not this thing where we're going to put a bunch of food in there and then take it out. Uh, and then, you know, punish them if they growl at us or something. It's that we really want to teach them that our hands near their stuff or us near them while they eat whatever it is that they're eating is a good thing for them. That having been said, while your dog is eating, my recommendation is let them eat. Um, but this is a good way to practice this um, to help them not have an issue with it later. I'll say something like, um, Rudy, leave it. Good boy. So he left it. I rewarded him. I took his bone. Yeah, that's me, buddy. I've got it right here, okay? Just one second. I know. That's not very fair. Hold on. Whoops. Having a little problems with my cap here. Oh, yeah. What if every time somebody messed with your food, the food came back better? <laughs> this kind of stuff. If they get upset, that means that I went too far too fast. I don't need to tell him that it's not okay to express himself. I need him to let me know. Um, if he growls, I need to know that he's upset so I can back off. Because otherwise, you know, we just end up trying to um, change not how they're feeling. This is trying to change how he's feeling. I'm trying to change how he feels about people coming near his food. What I don't want to do is convince him that he shouldn't express himself when he is upset. Because if he doesn't tell me that he's upset, that's how people get hurt. The shelters are full of are full with dogs whose paperwork says unpredictable. And I think that a lot of those dogs are unpredictable because they've been punished when they were predictable. We mess with their food, they growl at us, and we say, you know, no, don't growl, or worse, we hit them, or do something like that. And then they learn not to growl, but it does nothing to help them feel good about bones or peanut butter or bowls or anything else being messed with by their people. And... You know, I want, I want this whole process to be really something good. All right, I hope that this is kind of helpful. And, oh, yeah, hey, that's for me. Thank you. I hope this is kind of helpful, and uh, have fun with it. Make it a game. Here you go, bud. Good boy. Good dog.